بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دكتور حمزه السيوف كونسلتنت تشايلد نيرولوجيست امريكان بورد دكتور حمزه السيوف كلينيك اند سنتر ان عمان جوردن ون اوف ذا مين كويشن ذات اي هاف بين ادريسنج سيفرال تايمز از از اوتيزم ا كيوربل ديزيز اور از ات نوت ا كيوربل ديزيز از يو جايز نو وي هاف ببلشت فور ارتيكلز سو فار ثري اوف ذيم اون ا بروتوكول وي هاف ديفلوب to treat autism through uh, medication plus uh, uh, supportive therapy. Now, if you are going to look at autism uh, patient, you're going to find that this patient has so many signs and symptoms, and these signs and symptoms are shared with other patients uh, with neuropsychiatric disorder. For example, a lot of the kids with autism, they don't have the uh, uh, urge to communicate with each uh, with other people. That's one of the core symptoms. Second, they like the routine and they don't like to go outside the routine. And these are, uh, uh, are found on uh, what we call the negative symptoms of schizophrenia. That is why when you look at uh, schizophrenia, you will find one of the four A's of schizophrenia is autism. Okay, so that's sign and sim- these signs are symptoms are shared uh, between autism and schizophrenia. Now, a lot of the kids, you will find they have a, a stereotypical behavior or tick disorder, and there is an entity in medicine called tick or stereotypical behavior, and we have a well-known treatment for that. A lot of them uh, have hyperactivity, and almost everybody has poor attention, and that is, is a well-known disease in kids uh, ADHD called ADHD and we have been treating this kind of disease for uh, several years. We have uh, timber tantrum, sometimes aggression, sometimes OCD behavior, compulsive behavior, uh, selective food intake. Uh, uh, we have uh, sometimes uh, sometimes we have uh, aggression and every single sign and symptoms in kids with autism Uh, is shared with other diseases. Now, here's the question. When we take every sign and symptom that is found in a kid with autism and it is uh, found in a normal kid, uh, we have been treating this for a long time. For example, poor communication and uh, uh, routine life, like what we call uh, negative symptom schizophrenia, we have been treating that for years and years with antipsychotic. When you have poor attention and hyperactivity in a kid who is normal, nobody would, would argue that this patient would need a treatment for hyperactivity and poor attention. And if you have a patient with uh, OCD behavior or depression, irritable mood, uh, uh, but the kid is normal, everybody would agree that, oh, we should treat this patient. If the patient has insomnia, but he is normal, we would treat that. But if these signs and symptoms happen collectively, or individually in a patient with autism, everybody says, oh, we don't know. And uh, I found this is uh, a little bit bizarre. That is why we have developed and published our medication protocol to address the signs and symptoms in a kid with autism that has been treated for a long time in other diseases. And we proved that would work very well. For example, When a patient with autism comes to me, he has hyperactivity, poor attention, irritable mood, poor communication skill, and routine life, insomnia, whatever, we put them in uh, antipsychotic, and we start low and we go slow, and uh, this will help the patient in so many aspects. For example, it will help the patient to sleep, it help the, calm the anxiety, it help down the aggression, improve the attention, improve the sleep, decrease the hyperactivity, decrease the tick, decrease the OCD behavior, uh, decrease the uh, negative symptom where the patient cannot communicate with other, and we increase the dose slowly until we reach the maximum dose or the maximum tolerated dose, then we combine with the ADHD medication. Now, to summarize, I think autism is potentially very curable disease. We have published studies on that, so far three studies, a total of 110 patients They were treated with the same medication or protocol that proved autism can be cured. And the rationale for our treatment protocol was explained in my previous uh, 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 sentences or my previous talk. If I have signs and symptoms that I have been treating for 
decades in a normal kid or in another uh, a neuropsychiatric disease, uh, there is no uh, objection or uh, sorry, there is no uh, problem or uh, it does not make sense not to treat them when these signs and symptoms, the very same sign and symptom uh, 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 not to be treated in a kid with autism. Uh, now, uh, uh, one of the questions I always ask for the family when they come to me, or I ask everybody. Now, if a kid with autism uh, uh, has uh, poor attention, and I think almost everybody of them has poor attention, either because they cannot pay attention or because they cannot communicate or uh, uh, they are uh, uh, they don't they, they have other issue uh, like uh, uh, internal anxiety. Now, whatever is the cause, if I increase the attention of the patient from 10% and I make it 80%. Did I do something good or something bad for the patient? Of course, I did something good because this means I have increased the amount of information that he would receive from the environment eight times. This would stimulate the brain circuit eight times more than usual and this will build his brain circuit and knowledge in every single part of the brain uh, eight times more. Now, when I treat the attention problem, when I treat the hyperactivity problem, I treat the anxiety problem that happens almost in 80% of the kids. When I treat the OCD behavior in the kid, when I treat the insomnia, and when I treat the poor communication skill, and also uh, the uh, irritable mood and the aggression in a kid with autism, all these signs and symptoms that I tried my best to treat would make the patient much more uh, able to uh, take information and build his uh, knowledge in the brain and also develop uh, much much uh, better than without medication i really can't imagine a kid who does not communicate with the environment has very poor attention is very anxious uh, uh, just to keep giving him speech ot and aba and we know that he might grasp only uh, maybe one or two percent while if i treat all these signs and symptoms i would have improved his uh, uh, attention uh, maybe 10 20 30 times autism i think is a very potentially curable disease please if you have a question go to my uh, articles i have published in pubmed uh, three of them with uh, 10 110 patients uh, were treated in the same treatment protocol uh, according to the same principle i just ex explained i also uh, published one study four weeks ago uh, uh, that was the large study and the longest study uh, in using a tamoxetine in kids with autism with poor attention in kids three to five years of age. Uh, I want you to think about what I just said. Why should I not treat the attention problem in a kid with autism? Why I should not treat the OCD behavior and so and so on. The other question, if I treat this kind of symptom, would I help the patient or not? Nobody would, would argue that uh, it would be beneficial for the patient. Uh, uh, attention and understanding uh, and I think we should look at that more seriously and we should make sure uh, uh, to combine our clinical data with the research even though I don't have to find the, the, the cause or the root cause for autism I still can treat uh, autism with medication and with a uh, treatment we have so many other diseases that until this moment, we don't know what is the reason and what is the cause for that. But we have been treating these diseases successfully for the last uh, few uh, decades. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hamza Al-Saif.